Hello everybody. Just getting started on a unannounced live video. Trying out some new equipment and trying to get a little better at this. <laughs> I know I'm uh, pretty slow at it. You'll have to forgive me. Cindy, hello. Can you hear me okay, Cindy? I'm going to try to do the, a live video and answer your questions. Katrina, Dawn, hello. Can y'all hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? I'm still mixing up some of my paint. For anybody that's interested, some 4012 reducer from Createx. Get my black mixed. Thank you, Cindy. Hello, Misty. I fill my cups up about three quarters of the way. And I like to take a brush and mix them up real good. Katrina, I can hear you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have no way of knowing. <laughs> I could be standing here worse than talking to myself would be uh, talking like mute to you guys, wouldn't it? I wouldn't find out till later. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> what's that guy doing and why is he sitting there like moving his mouth but uh, I'm just getting everything ready getting everything set up um, I get a lot of requests um, people asking me for more live videos they want to see me well they don't have to be live videos I don't guess but so far that's the easiest way for me to do it but uh, you guys want to see me in action want to see me work so that's that's what I'm going to try to do more of. i show you all a lot of my work after it's done. But I will try to do some more videos like this where you guys can uh, see me in action. My grandson loved the winter hat with Oogie Boogie on it. Oh, the beanie. Okay, awesome. Cool. I love you guys' feedback. Well, today I have a hoodie that I'm going to start on. Provided that everything works good and all the video stuff works. And it's not raining today. It's not too terribly loud. Speaking of which, I guess I better watch that compressor. Turn the button off of it for a little while. It always comes on my videos. So I'll leave it off for a little while. But customer ordered this hoodie. The front design is a rose. So I'm going to put a rose on the front. Hello, Dorothy. Hey, Julie. Thanks everybody for your comments and letting me know that you can hear me. Right now I'm getting some of the big fuzz off of the hoodie. Um, sometimes I have to iron them if they're wrinkled, but hoodies don't wrinkle very good, very much. So that's not usually an issue. Shirts and stuff I'll have to iron. See the, you know, when I'm airbrushing, as I paint, that paint will grab and stick to everything that sticks out so if you can get some of those little fuzzies off of there before you start you know it'll, it'll make it look a little sharper that way maybe a little less you gotta cover up later shona hey how's it going everybody now for anybody i don't know that how long this video will be um i'm just going to do what i love to do which is airbrush you guys are welcome to follow along but if you cannot, I understand. Um, I will do my best, if everything works correctly, to download this to my YouTube channel. 
If you look up Crazy Thing Art, you can find my YouTube channel. This video will be on there later. You can watch all of it. Uh, it's your own convenience instead of having to watch it live. So that's the plan anyway. I'm, I'm not very good at the technological stuff. But I do the best I can. Uh, I'm only one person. I do get help from time to time. Uh, my friend Jamie, I think she might still be watching. She's helped me out a lot. Jennifer's helped me out a lot. My wife, she's pretty smart on some of that stuff. And even my 13-year-old son helps me out on it. Uh, he's better at it than I am. Uh, I just do this. This is me. I'm the airbrush guy. You know, I'm, I'm crazy thing, the airbrush guy. I just want to airbrush. Uh, if you want, guys want to watch, you're welcome to watch. If not, I understand. If you want to come back and just enjoy the finished product or come back and forth, in and out, I understand. But you're welcome to, to ask questions as I go, and I'll do the best I can. Renee is watching from New York. Isn't that cool? That is so awesome. Hi, Pearl. All right. Well, I've got my white mixed up in this gun already. I have my white here and my black here, and that's what I'm going to start with on this rose for the moment. I may switch back and forth. I do use reference pictures from time to time, depending on what it is. So you may catch me swapping back and forth over here on a laptop. Can you see that little guy right there? You know, I want to go for something similar. Jennifer says, hey, what's going on? Everybody's going to watch me do a rose today. Um, I have no intentions of making it look exactly like that. Um, watching from West Virginia. Virginia, Ugh, words are hard. See, I'm not good at words. I'm better with this right here. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. All right, well, as most of you know, I'm sure that are watching me, I don't use stencils. Um, that is a personal preference of mine. I want to use this and nothing else. Uh, stencils gives it a look that I don't enjoy in my artwork. And uh, since I'm the artist, I kind of get a little bit of say-so on that. <laughs> right? So uh, I don't use any stencils. So what I'll do is kind of map it out in my head a little bit. I've got it. This is about the size I want. Um, I very rarely get on the pockets. I like these to, to be blank. Sometimes I'll put a name or something on the pockets, but when I picture somebody wearing a hoodie and they've got either their cell phone or their hands or something in the pocket, that if I had an image on it anyway, it's just gonna be so distorted then it's almost a waste. So I like to actually use the pocket as a border. Sometimes when I'm doing pets and different things, I'll have stuff peeking out of the pockets or reaching right over the pockets and it really gives it a good depth and good kind of fun design. So I'm gonna get started. I've got it pictured in my head. Dorothy's in Michigan. That is so awesome to have people all over watching. Should I be embarrassed? Wait a minute, you're not here. Who am I talking to? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So yeah, I'm still trying to get used to this. Um, videos still make me nervous. I'm still, you know, looking and, you know, is my hat on goofy, you know, whatever. Do I have something on the side of my face? Is people gonna complain about anything and everything and they don't like this and they don't, you know, and then you do the whole thousands and thousands of different ideas in your head and you're like, stop it. Just airbrush. Go have fun. Enjoy what you like to do. You guys will watch it if you want to. If you don't want to watch it, that's okay too, because either way, I still got to do what I love to do, right? So uh, I'm going to do the best I can for you. Um, if you've got any questions, ask, and I will try to watch for your questions and try to help you out with any questions that you may have, whether it be a technical question or just something about me or whatever. But, but like I said, everybody, I'm going to airbrush a rose on here. Do the best I can for you. Uh, if you don't get time to watch all this now, it'll be um, downloaded on my YouTube later. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All I'm gonna do is a basic outline at the moment. Kinda get me an idea of where I wanna be and how it's gonna lay out. Katrina is from Arizona. 
All right, so this gives me an idea. It's gonna center it for me. Can you see it yet? Just a little bit, it's just kind of faint. It's faint enough to where if I looked at it and I didn't like it, I could still go back and change it. I haven't committed to this yet. I don't want the leaves to be too smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some character to it. You can start to see the leaves come out, each individual one. Some of them will stick out a little better than, than others. So now you want to start thinking when you're doing this, or all right, this is the way I do it, where is my light source going to come from? Cindy from Virginia. <laughs> hey. Where's your light source gonna come from, okay? You can have a light source come from dead on if you want with very little shadows and stuff. Come from, the, the most common is top left. That is your most common place for light, your light source. And that'll give me an idea of my shadows are gonna be on this side. My light's gonna hit the best here, so my highlights will be on this side. And I kinda keep that in mind as I'm going. It's not a, uh, definite right now, but I want to keep it in mind as I paint. That'll help me lay out the leaves and the petals better. I'm hoping some of this makes sense, or maybe I'm just rambling. You can hit mute and just watch if you want to, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever makes it better for you. So this one, it's going to be a big one. I don't want a little rose. I want it to be fully opened up. So the petals will get bigger and bigger as they overlap each other. And as the petals get bigger, if you picture it in your head, or you know, some references will show you, they tend to curve a little more, the petals do, where they're bigger and they got a little bit more weight to them. So they didn't have a natural curve to them, if that makes sense. Now you notice I'm just using white. Uh, some people may think, well, you know, what color is the rose going to be? The rose is going to be red, but if I just put red on here, you'd barely see it at all. You'd never even know what I was doing. So what you do on a black background, which is my favorite, you go at it with white, and then the whiter you bring it, you put your red on top of that. So the brighter you want your red, the brighter your white needs to be behind it. It's looking pretty good. One more. Got a big one out here on the side. And that's my layout. Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Happy New Year's from Canada, from Lorna. That is awesome. People everywhere. That is so cool. 
I, I've been doing this for quite a while now, and I don't know if I'll ever get used to that, you know, going on Facebook and, and YouTube. I've got Instagram. I have TikTok. I have a website, and it's so neat to just have people all over, you know. It's, it's not just like a neighbor coming over and going, hey, you do a good job, or, or somebody down the street. These people with their own lives all over the world getting to see this and, and see some of my work. That's so cool. And I get to do it because of you guys. You guys can share my work because you have friends all over too. So you can share my work and then more people get to see it. And more people from all over. Again, it's not just, you know, one household looking at it. Uh, it still amazes me. Maybe I'm just old school, but it does. Just amazing. You guys are awesome. I'm going to get back to work. I'm doing the back of this hoodie too, but I probably won't do that on video because of the time it takes. Now I'm going to go back. I'm highlighting and putting more paint where the petals are on the layout. But I'm also going to go out and start filling it in some. So that I actually can start getting pedals. I need a dolphin one done. Yes, you do, Dorothy. It's going to be gorgeous. There's Ann Barrett. Aaron Barrett is the actual person who ordered this. Oh, her girl's watching too, and that's who she ordered it for. Come on, guys. That's cool. <laughs> she gets to actually watch it being made. How cool is that? And the back is going to be a surprise because she doesn't get to watch that part. So the front, she gets to actually watch and still have a surprise for the back. I mean, that's cool. You gotta love technology. I wish I was better at it, but you gotta love it. All right, all right. She's watching me work. Do I get nervous now? No, the person who's paid for this and helped me to uh, follow my dreams by paying me to do it is actually watching me do it right now live. It's, it's so cool. I don't know, maybe I'm just a goober. I think it's pretty cool. Some people, I guess, are just, maybe they're just used to it, but I'm not. I don't know if I'll ever get used to it. It's hard to get used to people asking for, for things, you know. It's, I've been asked for my autograph, you get asked for interviews get asked to do you know radio spots been on tv a couple times i don't know i just i just want to airbrush <laughs> I, mean, I don't have a problem telling people you know why i do it or how i do it something like that but this is me this is me and my element right here Renee says she's too shy to do videos. Well, I've been trying for a couple years to get past that shyness. Luckily, I can't see you guys, so that helps. <laughs> I'm really just, I'm looking at my phone and, and talking and, and airbrushing, right? I don't know if people have time to watch this stuff or not. Maybe you just like my my one or two minute videos. These live videos tend to be pretty long, you know. Maybe some people can watch now, some can watch later. That's cool too. Can you see it starting to take shape now? I mean, you saw the layout. So now you can start seeing every, every petal come out. It does take some time. And at the moment, I don't have a reference in front of me. I 
I've got I've got you guys in front of me. Or I've got myself in front of myself. This is so weird. <laughs> Renee says I'm just watching in my pajamas with my coffee. That works. I hope you get to actually enjoy it. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to watch for them. I may miss them. I apologize. This was kind of last minute. Uh, once I realized, done uh, the research on what I was doing today, and I was like, that's pretty cool. You know, that's something that, that I could probably be able to talk to you guys and still be able to do because I've done several roses before. Because I've got to be careful of my concentration when I'm making a video, depending on what it is. I may be a very, very boring person if I'm engulfed in what I'm doing so much that I don't get to talk to you guys at all. I want to interact with you guys. I want you to talk to me. I want you to ask me questions and, and tell me what you think. You know, if I'm doing something wrong, shout. Say, hey, what are you doing? Right? You just messed that all up. If you're liking it, tell me that too. Your feedback is very important to me. Hello Kathleen, how are we doing today? Come to watch me airbrush a rose. Sometimes I get into this for hours and hours and the world just disappears. Sometimes you forget you have bills forget you have problems of any kind you know some people they use drugs and alcohol and, and different things to escape and, and this is mine this is this is me I, I feel more home and at peace when I'm doing this right here than at any other time in my life When I'm not making a video, I'll have uh, I'll have music going. Sometimes just random music. Sometimes music to put me in a mood for something. And I just zone out and I'm gone for hours. I absolutely love it. I love creating. And a lot of people do, a lot of artists do. They, they love to create, of course. I mean, it only makes sense, but I get paid to do it. Um, <laughs> you guys that are that are watching, you guys pay me to do this, and uh, the ones that don't pay me to do it, they, they share my work. And they let other people see it, and sometimes those people pay me, you know? And so I get to wake up and actually live the ultimate artist's dream every day because of you. And it's just amazing. Blows me away every day. I, I don't know that I'll ever get used to any of it. And I, that's, I guess that's a good thing. You see it starting to take shape? Julie, you want a shirt with a lily on it? Not a problem at all. What color you want it, Julie? Art therapy is the best. Oh, there's the boss on there living the dream. That's right. She's so much help. She supports me. I couldn't do it without her. Did you guys see her on the, uh, the Viking photo shoot? That was so cool. <laughs> I just posted that. I uh, just posted a video of it on my YouTube and uh, on this page here and on my personal page. So if you can get a chance to see that, check out the Viking photo shoot. It's so awesome. Uh, hopefully I'm not, uh, I don't have all the information, but I think those calendars are still for sale. Um, I did put links on a lot of my posts for you. 
you want one of those 2022 calendars with uh, the Viking models on it that I did the makeup for, be sure to check that out. Shameless plugs. That's right. We do that here. <laughs> Renee, I hope you're right. Money can be very, very evil. So I try my best not to let it affect my art. Sometimes that's hard to do when you're running a business as well, you know. I could very easily, you know, not have the camera on and just spit out this rose as quick as I can and get it done, you know, and then turn it around, hurry up and get it done. And then say, you know, I made X amount of dollars today. And I try not to be that way. Uh, I want to enjoy it, and I want you guys to enjoy it with me. That's being able to share it is, is amazing. Um, it's so cool. That's what I love about the technology part. I don't know how hard this would have been for me to do this 20 years ago. You know, if I'd have tried back then to be an airbrush artist, it may not have worked. I don't know. You ever wonder about that kind of stuff? I do. Especially when I'm painting, I wonder about lots of things. It gives me a chance to think if I'm in the mood. Some projects, especially the memorial projects, those really get to me. I get involved in those emotionally. Not always a good thing, I guess, but uh, I like to get into my work, you know. And uh, a lot of them, I get some really amazing stories to hear from some, some just incredible people. I'm going to do the common light source from this side. So you'll see me come back and highlight more on this side. I don't know how much of it's picking up on camera, but that, that's what you're going to see me doing right now. I want to highlight and make sure that I get the most amount of white highlight and white paint over on this side where my light source is going to be. That'll help create a little bit of realism and a little bit of depth for you because that's what keeps this being airbrushed and not some 2D sticker, you know, because everybody can admit, you know, anybody can get a decal and, and put it on a hoodie. Anybody can get a rose decal and put it on a hoodie, but what you can't do is get a decal that looks like what I do. I'm very proud of that, which is another reason why I don't use stencils. And I can, I love sharing it, I really do. I spent years kind of enclosed in my own little world, my own little box. When I would create something, I didn't always show it off. I've kind of done it for myself. Now I can still do it for myself and let the world see it too. It took a long time for me to get out of that box. People told me, friends told me, family told me, you should do this and you should do that. Like, no way. <laughs> <coughs> That's embarrassing. Why would I do that? Why would I show somebody something, you know, that, that comes from my heart? I can't do that. Well, I was wrong. I didn't think I could make videos either. <laughs>
I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> Good morning, Casey. How's it going? Julie? What color is uh, that lily you was asking about? Pink? If you need my Etsy link again, uh, feel free to message me. And later I'll, I'll get my messages and, and go through them and I'll make sure to send you all the information you need. I've done a few lilies lately. I think I've done a, a shirt, a hoodie, and I've done some lily license plates. Turned out really nice. That's another cool thing about the airbrush is being able to do the different mediums like that. I can turn around on this piece of fabric right here and then when I get done with it, put a piece of metal in front of me and I'll do it next. I may have to change my, uh, my paint a little bit, uh, mostly on how it's reduced and how it flows. I've got a lot more freedom on this fabric, even though the overspray, if, if you can see it where it's so fuzzy looking, that's exactly what it is, it's fuzzy because the overspray grabs a hold of all those little pieces of fuzz that I was talking about earlier. Is it starting to look like a rose? What do you think? Looks good. Thanks, Ricky. Whoop, whoop. Finally seeing y'all live. Well, good. I'm glad to have you on here. You're awesome. Oh, Ricky, that man's got a wild looking truck. He's gonna be bringing me shortly. You guys should check it out, the Mar the Martian truck. How many trophies you got with that thing so far, Ricky? Ricky's a cool guy, very good customer too. He's gonna be bringing me a hood. Should I be telling everybody about that? <laughs> That's right, Ricky said it, Never mind. he said it too, it's okay. Yeah, bring me that hood. About three weeks from now. I'm trying to get caught up for you, buddy. Get a lot of these other projects out. I'm a lot more caught up now than I was a couple weeks ago. About two weeks before Christmas, I was sitting on anywhere between 30 and 35 projects with, you know, some pretty intense deadlines because of Christmas. And then uh, I got a little sick, and that didn't help. Put me out of the shop for a couple of days and made the wife have to take care of me, all that good stuff. You no, know, we can only do the best we can do. That's the thing about uh, this job, I can't uh, say, here, uh, I'm not gonna do it today, you do it, you know, or here, you do it. And it's all me when it comes to the actual airbrush work. Julie, can you do a royal blue lily? Absolutely. You just put that on your order. Sorry, I gotta scroll up. This is my first time here, Sandra. Oh, glad to have you. Yeah, Julie, just be sure to, to put that on the, the your order on Etsy for me when you make your Etsy order. Uh, you can also remind me of Messenger if you'd like. Where am I located? Sandra, I'm in Cecilia, Kentucky, but I do ship all over the planet. I'm trying not to block it too much for you, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that on these parts here. So I'll try to get through them as quick as I can for you. I'm going to angle it this way so that my overspray is going this way. Cause I know I could do it like this where you could see it, but then all the overspray is gonna hit where I don't want it to. So you'll have to forgive me for a minute while I get in here and uh, get these last few pedals lined out. Cool little trick is while I'm doing these on this side, everything over here is drying. Which lets me go back and add another layer. That's why you'll see me sometimes going back and forth because many days I'm literally watching paint dry. 
Doesn't that sound horrible? <laughs> well, somebody's got to do it, and luckily it's me. I'm glad I get to do it. I'm no, uh, I'm no wordsmith by any means. I may like to talk, but that doesn't mean I'm good at it. So hopefully these videos will come across a little bit entertaining for you, whether you're here to see me or the artwork or to learn something or just, you know, just out of curiosity. I don't know. 23 trophies. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of trophies. You know how many trophies I have? Zero. <laughs> I don't have any trophies. Not a single one. Now my artwork has helped other people get trophies. Cars, and especially motorcycles, Ricky's truck. They've, I've been able to help them out, which is really cool. It's a pretty good honor. Be able to help somebody else out with their dream. Are you curious yet to what's next? What am I going to be doing next on this road? You know, if you went to like a a fair or a mall or something like that where people airbrush uh, they're either using stencils or maybe they're just really good and experienced and they spit stuff like this out in no time and uh, in 15 minutes they're done and they're sealing it so you can take it home um, that that again that does not me I'm going to spend some extra time on it uh, there's a lot of details and things that I will add, and you may not ever notice, and that's okay, because I know that it's my passion, and it's got to look right to me before I can sell it to anybody else. You guys still hear me okay over the airbrush? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is this is drying. Is I'm gonna go back and hit some of these edges with the paint you saw me mix in the beginning. This is my black. Start off out here, make sure there's no color issues. And then I'm gonna work my way in, kind of fade a little bit in. And now, I'll work on these edges. This will take some of the fuzziness away. Make the edges a little sharper. I still want it to be a little fuzzy, just because it's my style. I don't like the huge, sharp edges. Just not the way I like things to look. That's right, Sandra. The artwork is trophy enough. I feel like a winner for being able to do it. And it's even cooler that I get to share it. Sandra, I know you joined a little late. Um, I do have a YouTube channel that I'll be posting this on. When I'm done. Can you see how much sharper that is on this side? I'm going to go around the entire thing and sharpen it up real quick. Then I'm going to go in and start doing some of the shadowing. It'll be the same color, same airbrush gun, 
but a lot lighter on the trigger. <laughs> right now I'm kind of saturating it, making sure the black is completely black. You don't want those hard black lines once you start going in shadowing. I'm hoping this is able to help somebody. Give them a pointer or two maybe or something they, they didn't know before. Okay, I'm going to start in the middle here. And all my dark spots. The easy way to put it is I'm just going to go in there and make them a little darker. Don't know how well that'll come across on the camera. I'm just going to make the shadows darker than they are right now. By making the shadows darker, you actually bring out the white and make it brighter. Maybe you can see that on the camera, maybe not. Again, uh, it's just kind of guesswork. Um, I don't have my reference pictures out or anything right now. Uh, this customer was awesome enough to, to give me some free range on it, you know. Some customers send me a picture and say, this is, uh, this is what I want. Okay, well, I'll do my best to, to use that reference picture and make it as close to that as I can. Um, it won't be exact, I can promise you that. I don't like the word exact when it comes to hard work. As you see, I'm doing this freehand. Uh, I'm not doing anything exact with uh, freehand work. It's just not happening. It's just not me. I'm not that guy. Sorry. I'm confident that I can capture a likeness of about anything you want. Whether you give me the freedom to do it my way or give me reference pictures to do it your way. I don't always make everybody happy, but I'm probably up there in the 90 percentile. Renee says it would look like a badass tattoo. Well, I'd say so. Where would you put it? Ann Barrett, we love your style and have the freedom to do what you love is what will make this a treasure. Hope to start a crazy thing trend. I like the sound of that. <laughs> well, what that requires is for you guys to hit the like and comment and share buttons on my work. Um, I'm really trying to grow my YouTube and, and put more videos up on it to have a, an, an extension and another platform. I really think the, the videos of my work, even the finished work, really get to show it off better than some of the still pictures. So I really want to help grow that. If you're not on my YouTube, please check that out. Go on there and subscribe to it. At least go on there from time to time and and check out some of the videos and, and click some buttons for me. That's what it takes. If you get on there and look, all your, your people that are trending and, and doing real well, they have thousands if not millions of people not just watching their stuff, but they're hitting buttons. And that's what it takes, it really does. I know sometimes it can be a lot to ask, Take a little extra of your time. I get it. Time is important. But hit some buttons for me. If you like my work, show it to your friends. Show them my links. Here I am. I'm just pr promoting, 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 right? <laughs> I think I'm out of room for any more ink. <laughs> Sandra says freehand is the best. I agree to that. Everybody's got their own style, so I'm not gonna not gonna make a video bashing any other artists on how they do their stuff. 
as long as they're doing it, you know. But I, I don't expect them to bash me how I do mine either. To me, it's it's just more pure this way. I know to make money, I could go off and buy a bunch of stencils, and I, I could have a nice, pretty rose in, in you know, less than five minutes buy a stencil. And then the next person that buys a rose hoodie from me, they're going to have the same exact rose. <laughs> Maybe a different color. That's just not me. Just not me. Every piece I do is custom made by me, nobody else. I don't think I ever have to worry about getting so big where I have to mass produce things with some kind of stencil. It's just not me. What do you think about these shadows? Are they looking good? Are you tired of hearing me talk yet? <laughs> Ann says when she wears this to school, you know kids will ask. Spread the word in every way we can. Awesome. <laughs> You're amazing. Ann is a bit of an artist too, if I remember correctly. Got some pretty cool stuff. A lot of small stuff, which is not always easy. Almost ready for some color. We'll do a few more highlights. Excuse me while I drink my uh, diet green tea citrus. Is that okay on camera? I'm not a sponsor for any tea or anything. Okay, guys. Time for some color. Um, I have not mixed any yet. And is she still watching? Got a nice bright red in, what do you think? Now this won't look the same once it hits here, but uh, this will be a, a beautiful color for the rose, don't you think? Make sure she sees it. Always shake your bottles, even if you use it every day. Very good. Uh, habit to get into you just grab it give it a couple shakes if nothing else uh, just out of habit that'll keep everything good and mixed up for you because it will settle and then you know you go a couple days a weekend or, or maybe even a week or longer without using a color and you've forgotten about it and you're not in the habit of shaking it and you grab it and it doesn't work right or the color comes out all crazy looking well that's why because it's it's separated or it's uh or it's settled so it's always a good idea to shake the bottle i am going straight red on this one i think it's gonna really pop shadowing is looking good can't wait to see the finish all right she approves that's what i was waiting for here we go now like I was explaining earlier, everything has to be brought out from the black. Start off with your white, make it as bright as you can, and then you can add your color. So 
watch as this rose comes to life. Colors will really bring it out. Once I get all the colors in, I will come back with some more highlights, okay? That's what a lot of people don't realize is how many times I'll go over the same spot on a project. You know, how many times have I been right there today already? You know, three, four times, and I haven't even got the color yet or come back with highlights yet. This isn't a one and done. Uh, not for me. Maybe with the other artists and other styles. Oh yeah, that color's really gonna pop off there good. I'm gonna go heavy in some spots and then I'm lighter in others. You get down here in the shadows, you can cover that black up some so that it's not so deep and then go lighter towards the top of the petal so that you get different reds even though I'm using you saw exactly what I did I poured one color into here but you'll see that with the different shadows the different degrees of white and your background color of the black versus the white how many different shades of red you're going to get just from that one red Misty still watching, good to hear. Won't be much longer, you guys. I appreciate several of you sticking around for the whole thing. That's pretty awesome. I didn't know if this would be interesting or not. Uh, like I said earlier, it's just kind of last minute. I didn't plan this, and I know I should. I should plan some of these out so that I could tell everybody ahead of time, but it was just kind of impulsive. I'm like, you know what? I think I'll video this one. And then I messaged the customer to, to give her some awareness. I thought that'd be cool. And, and that worked out really well. This is the second time I've been able to do this for a customer as they're watching. That's, that's pretty incredible. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Again, I get a little overwhelmed at just how amazing this is. <laughs> This is my day uh, every day. I have the best customers in the world. I get to do what I'm passionate about. It's amazing. Just amazing. You see the different shades of red? Different shades of pink in there, kind of. A little lighter red. You don't want just that monotone, you know, spray it all one saturation of, of color. You gotta take the time, go through there, different speeds, different amounts of paint, and do it right. Teresa says she loves the skulls in the background. Well, there's a lot more of them. I've got them all over the place in the shop. And I'm so glad you get to watch. It's really cool, this technology, to be able to do this. Which this is a public shop, you know, people are welcome to come by and watch me paint, but you know, a lot of you guys are far away. So that's not really practical. To be able to do it like this is pretty neat. See how quick the color goes? Now, if I was doing more than one color, it would be time consuming because you actually have to flush the entire gun and get all the old color out. 
And then, you know, sometimes if you're going to mix a color and make your own specific color that you don't already have, you know, I may have wanted a, a yellow red or something and then mixed it myself. You always want to make sure you mix too much <laughs> so that you don't run out and have to try to attempt to do it twice. When you make custom colors, that usually doesn't work out in your favor. Not for me, anyway. Anybody that watches a lot of my work knows that uh, I'm a big fan of black and white. I love the look. Look at that. Get in there. What I'm doing now is covering up a little bit more black. Too much black and too big of a black hard line would almost make them all look separate. Sandra, it is amazing to do what you love to do. I cannot imagine ever doing anything else again. But that's up to you guys. Not me. I can only do this if I'm uh, financially able. So here comes the highlights again. And remember, like I said, my light source is going to be coming from this side, so that's where the big majority of my highlights will be. Highlights will really help make it pop. Sorry if I get too quiet, but really get into it and start concentrating. Julie says she's watched the whole video. That's awesome. Again, for anybody that's just joined or uh, doesn't have time to watch the whole thing right now, I will be putting it on my YouTube. Be sure to check it out. If you can't find the link, just search Crazy Thing Art. You don't want to overdo it put too many highlights and they end up not being highlights anymore. I'm try to find that happy middle there. So and be sure to let her know that this rose is for her and it is not going to be duplicated. There is never going to be another exact copy of this rose anywhere on the planet. And I've still got to do the back. That's going to be really cool. But I won't be doing that today on video.
And we'll make sure that these are nice and bright since they're the closest to the light source. And then I'll be calling this video done so that this can dry and I can flip it over and do the back side and put the, the design that the customer asked me to put on the back. Got the black, I'm just going to crisp up a couple of edges here. We've seen some overspray. Guys, I really appreciate you watching. If I'm going to uh, promote anything, I want it to be uh, my YouTube. Please go on there and check it out. I'm going to be posting videos. I'm going to try a couple times a week for you. Uh, I really need to hit a thousand subscribers. I'm uh, just over 520 right now. Halfway there because of you. So uh, if you have any friends that uh, you know might enjoy to watch, Please share with them. Crazy Thing Art on YouTube. Crazy Thing Art. If you want any work from me, if you want to see my prices, I am on Etsy. Should be a link somewhere there in the comments. But guys, I'm going to call the video done. Thank you to everybody that watched live. That's uh, amazing that you got to share this time with me. Thank you for everybody that gets to watch it later, provided that uh, the technology works for me. But uh, I'm going to call this a day. Again, please um, check me out on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. That will help me out tremendously. Um, share it to your friends. Um, if you want me to make more videos, then I need your help. Okay? Show me some love on the ones that I've made. Thank you very much.